Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to graph a piecewise function with three inequalities. So piecewise functions are broken up into um, different parts, right? It's not a continuous line, it's in pieces, so it's called a piecewise function. So we usually have something like f of x equals, and we'll do three different equations, right, with inequalities. So the first one we'll do x when x is less than 4. We'll do f of x equals negative 2 when um, x is between 4 and we'll say it's um, greater than or equal to 4. Um, well, let's make it negative 4. So we'll show the negative part of the equation. Negative 4 and we'll say um, great, um, less than 2. And then we'll say um, it's, uh, I don't know, x plus 3 when x is greater than 2. Um, so the important thing to remember is if it's less than, or equal, uh, less than or greater than, you have to have an open circle. If it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you have to have a closed circle. So here's our graph. So let's start with the first one. F, um, f of x equals x, so that's going to be a line kind of like this, but it's only when x is less than 4. So let's say 4 is here. We're going to do an open circle and do the graph. All right? I know it has a slope of 1, so it's going to look like that. Then we know that f of x equals negative 2 when x is between negative 4, which is here, and 2, which is here. So then it's going to be a straight line. That's what that graph looks like at negative 2, right? And that's going to be an open circle. But now we have to fill in this circle because this is less than or equal to negative 4. So we're actually going to fill in that circle. Then for the third piece of our piecewise function, we have x is greater than 2. When x is greater than 2, it's going to be this line. So that line looks like it intersects at 3. But we're not going to start it there, right? We're going to start it, it has a slope of 1, so it would start at 2. And it goes out like that. And we have to do an open circle, right? Because it's less, just greater than. So it doesn't actually equal this point, it's everything above that point. So here we have our three inequalities in pieces. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.